When did you decide that rap was going to be your way out and you was going to put that behind you? How old were you when you said, you know what? I can do this. I mean, I think 50, 50 was a guy that, that ended, was in the game, ended up getting shot nine times, t- turned his life around. Um, I don't know if 50 is a role model of yours. I think I read somewhere where you said 3-6 Mafia. Yeah, I liked the day music growing up, but mm-hmm. I ain't really know much about 3-6 Mafia. Like, I knew about Project Pat, like his story. Mm-hmm. But I ain't really know about 3-6 Mafia, like, as a whole story. Right. 50 Cent was a thousand percent, like, I looked it up to him growing up, too. For right. sure. Like, because he told his story more than, like, a lot of other artists. Mm-hmm. He had a movie and all this type of shit. So right. I knew his story a little more. Like, I was inspired by his story and shit. So when did you decide to say, I'm going to give this rap thing a try? Like, after I got shot? Yeah. That's when I really just started, like, trying to, like, rap for real. Right. Like, I had made songs playing around and shit with right. friends. But that's when I started, like, really, like, putting my money into it and shit like that. Right. Okay, you meet Metro Boomin. Yeah. And so that was, so how did you meet him and how did you guys become such good friends? I met Metro Boomin through Key. It's a Atlanta rapper named Key. Mm-hmm. And I met Key through Man Man. Mm-hmm. He a rapper from Atlanta too. Right. And Key used to bring me around Sunny Digital. And Nobody had real names, huh? Everybody got Man Man and Key yeah, and yeah. Slim, Skinny, uh, oh God. Pope. <laughs> oh God, Shay Shay. <laughs> <laughs> but, true, touche, touche. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got down. Um, they used Key used to bring me around Sunny, and Sunny was the man. Okay. And then everybody used to be at Sunny House. Right. And then that's how I met Metro. So you Metro up, he gave you a, so did he know? Did he know you rapped at the time? I don't think so. He ain't know me. Right. But I just walked up on him like, man, I'm savage, bro. I need some beats. I'm finna start rapping. And he fucked around and sent me a couple beats. And I had did like a couple songs on him and he fucked with him. And then we just grew a relationship. And it, it took off from there. Yeah. Did did you think or did you know? But really, Sonny, Sonny, my my songs with Sonny blew up before my songs with Metro. Okay. Type shit. Okay. So it was really me and Sonny was locked in. Like Metro was giving me beats too, but I was doing like projects with Sonny and shit. Sonny was like showing me how to record. Okay. Like let me use his house to record and all type of shit. And then me and Metro grew our relationship while all that was going on type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Did you think you could become this? Mm-mm. Cause I remember I used to like, when I had caught my little first little song, right. I remember I used to be sitting at Sunny house like, man, when the hell are you supposed to start getting show money, bro? Type shit. Right. And he used to be like, bro, don't worry, bro. It's gonna come, bro. Trust me, bro. Like it's gonna come type shit. I ain't think it'll be like this, nah, hell no. Nah. Cause back then it was like, people was blowing up, but I don't know if people was blowing up that big. Right. I feel like all the people who, this big right now, like we all got there around the same time mm-hmm. type shit. Right. Like we ain't had nobody be like, what future back then who was just right. big like that. Future says, if young Metro don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> I mean, but you look at your guy, I mean, what is it about Atlanta? You, Future, Tip, Luda, I mean, Eastside, if you if you in the rap game, I think Lil we, Baby. Yeah, I think Atlanta's just like a player city, like, it's just player, like, we just, I don't know, we just know how to talk. We know how to walk, dress, talk to women, set trends. It's just right. it's something in the air. I don't know. I had T.I. on the podcast. T.I. said, you ask him for a million dollars. And he said no, because he said that I would have to take more from you. Yeah. He was still trying to sign me, though. T.I. is cheap as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he going to try to. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. He, he sent me an offer. Yeah. And I, my counter offer was, I want a million. Right. And he was like, shit, I'm going to have to take so much from you in return. Right. That it ain't even worth, it ain't even going to be worth the million in the future type shit. So he actually saved you from yourself. Facts. 
Yeah, I look up to T.I. Because T.I. one of them niggas. He rich as a motherfucker, but he tight as hell, boy. <laughs> That's how he keep that money, though. Right. He's smart with his money. You had a platinum album before you signed your first deal. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're in, you, you're in a very favorable situation because you got, you. I mean, it's not necessarily you got to do a bad deal because you already got a platinum album. It's not like a situation you're looking to get signed so you can release an album. You already got the album. Was it platinum or, or was it gold? Gold. 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 Had I had platinum, platinum singles. singles. Yeah. But I had a gold album. Right. Yeah. But you straight. Yeah, for sure. So it kept, so that kept you out of a bad deal. Yeah. Cause I was like, it was like all type of street niggas I was supposed to sign to who right. had like little labels and shit. Right. But some just used to tell me like, man, hell no, nah, I don't take no 30,000. Don't take no 50,000. Right. Like you worth more than that. Right. You end up doing a 70, 30 split, right? Yeah. Yeah. With Epic. Right. Yeah. That was my first deal. It was like 70, 30, but like they had like a 10% distribution fee or some shit. Right. Yeah. So what, what's your take on streaming? I hear Snoop Dogg say, man, look here, man, them streaming, you stream a billion and man, you ain't really making no money. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your thoughts on streaming? Um, I think it all depends on how your deal structured because it's some money in streaming. It's much it's money just, streaming? It's just about like how your deal structured and how much you stream type shit. Well, it seemed to me it that- It gotta be some money in it because my label be giving me some money. Okay, I was, I was about to say, because the way you talk, you talking like you got a structured deal that you be getting. They got to be making money because right. they giving me money. Right. So it's some money in that shit, some real money in it. Let me ask you about your catalog. Future sold his catalog. I think he sold it 65, 75 million. Is that something you'd be interested in at some point? Yeah, I'll probably lay down, down the line for sure. Yeah. I only got a couple albums right now, though. Right. But. You gonna stop it, it on up and get it? It depends how how much my hustle, how I apply my hustle. Right. Cause shit, I might fuck around and invest in something and become a billionaire and, and be able to pass my catalog down to my kids. Might right. not even have to sell my catalog. Right. I'm looking at the, the XL uh freshman class, Lil Easy Burt, Yachty, Kodak, Denzel, Curry, Jim Herbo, David East, Lil Dick, Anderson Pack, Designer, and you. Boy, y'all hit a lick that year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, y'all hit a week. Yeah, for sure. It was some stars on that cover. Do you uh do you do you ever sit back and like, man, considering what you, your story of how coming to to Atlanta from London or the East Side, your upbringing, there's a lot of things that could have happened that this didn't happen. Do you ever sit back and like, damn, man, this shit, I'm new, uh, savage, all right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. But I'd be like, I still got to keep going though. You still trying to grind. Yeah, but the, I do be like appreciative though. I do sit back and just daydream sometimes. Like, damn, this shit could have went this way or this way. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.